penguins who were stuck in an icy ditch and the camera crew broke all their rules and helped them. A penguin who was trapped in the ice and only the help of this man could save him. A rescued penguin who came back to his grandfather for four years. Now I'm going to tell you seven amazing penguin rescue stories that would not have survived without human help. Number 7. A group of about 30 emperor penguins were stuck in a ditch in extreme cold. The walls of the ditch were too steep, and the strong wind knocked the penguins off their feet, making it almost impossible for them to escape. This group of penguins was slowly dying in an ice trap without food. This situation was filmed by a BBC camera crew. There is an unwritten rule not to interfere with the natural course of things. Because of this rule, we often see episodes in movies that end with the death of animals. But after watching the torture of the animals for several days and seeing several chicks die, the film crew could not stand it and decided to break the rule. I should mention that there was one penguin who managed to get out of the trap on its own. It helped itself with its beak, and after some time it climbed to the top of the ditch. But other penguins could not do it. So the camera crew decided to intervene. They started digging a passage with shovels for the trapped penguins to get out. After a while, the work was finished. At first, the penguins ignored the new passage, but then the birds noticed the passage and began to get out of the trap. One by one, they managed to escape and returned to the large colony of other penguins nearby. Although the film crew broke one of the most important rules of non-interference with nature, other naturalists supported them. Do you think people did the right thing by influencing the fate of these penguins? I'd like to see your opinion, so please share it in the comments. Number 6. This penguin was trapped in the ice alone and certainly had no chance to survive. A member of the Antarctic expedition came along and decided to help. Breaking the snow and ice with his ice axe, he gradually made his way to the stuck penguin. After a while, the penguin managed to poke its head out on its own. But the trap was deep and there was still a lot of work to do. A funny fact is that during this small rescue operation, there were fellow penguins waiting nearby and they didn't leave until the operation was over. The first attempt to pull the penguin out by the wings was unsuccessful, as was the second. But the man digged up some more snow and finally the penguin managed to get out and quickly went to his friends who happily met their buddy. Number 5. Most probably you've heard this story before. The Brazilian pensioner has a faithful friend, a penguin, who has been coming to visit his savior for four years. How did this happen? Four years ago, the old man saved the bird from imminent death. The man found the baby penguin on the rocks near Rio de Janeiro. The poor animal was covered in oil and without immediate help would soon have died. The bird could not move or feed and it was in such a bad condition that Grandpa took the bird to his house to help. He washed the bird, fed it, and gave it the name Tinkerbell. A few months later, the penguin had grown plumage, and it left its rescuer and joined its relatives on the coast of Argentina. The journey from Rio took the penguin 8,000 kilometers. This could be the end of the story, but the next summer, to the surprise of the old man, it had an unexpected sequel. The penguin returned as if nothing had happened and lived with his grandfather again for several months, then swam away again to Argentina. And so it happens four years in a row. Biologists don't understand why this happens, but they put forward a theory that this penguin considers Grandpa a member of his family and possibly even a penguin. Such an amazing story of rescue and gratitude. Number 4. This Fiordland penguin was rescued by kind people near the city of Melbourne. After a sea voyage from New Zealand to Australia, the penguin was on the brink of death. It was exhausted, unable to walk, and had wounds on its body from the bites of other animals. The Melbourne Zoo response team received a report of an injured bird and rushed to help. The penguin was taken to the veterinary clinic where it was treated for his injuries. 
The doctors also made all necessary tests, including x-rays. Thank God, no bone was damaged. After regaining strength, the fattened and healthy penguin was released back into the wild. Thank you very much, Melbourne Zoo staff. Number 3 You've probably seen footage of this rescue before. A penguin was rescued from a pack of orcas in Antarctica and would have been eaten if a boat with tourists hadn't come along. At first, the tourists only watched in amazement as the penguin attempted to escape several orcas who decided it should be their dinner. But then, to their surprise, the penguin jumped onto the boat. The first attempt was unsuccessful, but the second time, with the help of the man on the boat, the penguin was able to climb into the boat. The killer whales clearly did not appreciate such help from people, and for some time they chased the boat. Eventually, they realized that dinner was off and left the penguin alone with its new friends. I want to praise the people on the boat, because they did not try to touch the penguin, as such contact could scare the bird away and it could jump off the boat and be eaten by the orcas. Instead, they just enjoyed this amazing moment. After spending some more time in the boat and making sure the orcas had swum away, the penguin jumped back into the water and swam off. Number 2 The same situation happened in this video as in the previous one. Fleeing from a pack of orcas, the penguin jumped into the boat and this saved his life. Unfortunately, the very moment of the penguin's jump was not filmed on video, but the main thing is that the animal was saved, and people got an amazing experience. A new item must be added to my list of life goals, to buy a ticket to Antarctica and save a penguin from a pack of orcas. Number 1 These penguins, unfortunately, have been affected by human deeds. Hundreds of penguins were caught in the middle of an oil spill off the coast of South Africa. Although it's humans' fault that these penguins happened to be on the brink of death, human help was the only thing that could save them. The South African Air Force collected the affected animals for several days before transporting them to its base. There, the animals were given time to recover from the stress they had endured. Then, each bird was thoroughly cleaned and fed on fish. All of this took several weeks of painstaking work from a dozen people. Finally, the penguins were loaded back onto the plane and moved to a safe place where they would no longer be threatened by irresponsible human activity. Although these penguins' misfortune is the result of man's deeds, the fact that people didn't let these birds die and save them warms my heart. Thank you, kind people, for saving the penguins. That's all the stories I wanted to highlight today, but don't rush away because I have five crocodile rescue stories. For example, a story about the giant crocodile that got stuck in a parched canal and only people can help it. Click on the video to see the stories of crocodiles that needed human help. See you there!